All right. What's what's going on, Shane? How you doing, man? Oh, doing great. It's it, it's it's hot as can be outside, but it's it's nice yeah. to be inside in the air conditioning. Yeah, yeah. Well, you 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 have the luxury of of uh, of of, uh, of air conditioning, and I I have the <laughs> I have to wait around it for it to just go away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, it's... in in my part of the world, we don't call air conditioning luxury. It, <laughs> right, it, right, in, right. In my right. part of the world, air conditioning is an essential. It's not a yeah. It's not a luxury for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's it's probably it's probably more of a luxury. It would probably be more of a luxury for me, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Most, I don't know if most people here actually have conditioners. I I don't think they do. I think they just kind of weather the storm because, you know, it's one of those things where you're probably just gonna have it for three months out of the year, anyways, and then mm -hmm. you're gonna, you know, put it back in the box. You know, the portable air conditioner so well well you know what the interesting thing is in in i'm pretty sure in every state in the country including places like 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 florida where, where, where it gets so hot mm -hmm. um if you are a landlord and you're and you have a rental property mm -hmm. it is illegal for you not to provide a heater to mm -hmm. to to a, a working heater to tenants mm -hmm. but but you are not required by law to to provide a working air conditioner to tenants Really? Yeah, and the, and the, and that's that's an old law that's been on the books for a really really long time, and that is still the current law in places like Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas. All you know the these states where where it's the hottest, amazing hot. Yeah, for <laughs> for a hottest. really really long part of the year, man. Yeah, but yeah, but, but I you know that's something I've always found interesting is is. You you rarely ever get temperatures that drop below below like forty degrees, mm -hmm. you know, in, in places like Florida and Texas and Louisiana and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, and and the law on the book says that that you're not required to provide um air conditioning to to cool the home. You're only required to provide a heater, which just just blow, which has always blown my mind. Yeah, that's that's really strange to me. I don't know. I don't. You know, I I would I would. I would suspect that, like that could work somewhere like in the north, you know, in in some of these northern states, midwestern states. Like, okay, yeah, if you're living in like Montana or yeah, or Massachusetts or North right. Dakota or something, yeah, right. the only thing that you would really need you you really only need a heater. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, so their their summertime temperatures are 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 probably are probably our uh, high temperatures during the win during the winter time. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know, like yeah. Yeah, but I'm I'm pretty sure they I'm pretty sure they are, man. That's that's a really strange. Um... Yeah, th that's something I was I've always found interesting though is is the fact that that you know when when you're spelling out what the responsibilities are of of a landlord to the tenants, mm -hmm. and kind of the general expectation is that, that the landlord's responsibility is to provide a working air conditioner, but mm -hmm. if the landlord were to to choose not to. Mm -hmm. There, there is no law against that. Wow, you know, which is just insane. Yeah, it's that. I, I think I don't. I don't think I would last long without without air conditioning down there. You know, I mean, you know, I, I, you know, there aren't a whole the, lot of people that would, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, <laughs> you either gotta. I, I think the thing about the the heat and the sun and everything is you either you either enjoy it or you don't. You know what I mean? You're somebody that, that enjoys it or you don't. And it's the same way, I think, with people who live in colder weather. You either like the snow and the the the, the rain and the cold or you don't. You know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I just don't know how people how, how people survive up in places like like around Hudson Bay, mm -hmm. you know, like like way like way, way far up north in like mm -hmm. into Canada, like. Like okay. like the 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 hinterlands east of east of Alaska, you know, like okay. yeah, like you know, um, up there in the Northwest Territory and the Yukon and stuff. I I I don't know how in the world people survive up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's probably it's probably really nice during, like maybe 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 during their two warmest months, it's probably really nice up there. But if if right. you're not Nanook of the North, you know, you're gonna have yeah. a hard time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of probably a lot of canned canned foods and well, well, know. and. And and don't a lot of the people up there um survive off of like like seal fat? They they 
they take the seal fat and they ferment it and they put it in a jar and then they they survive off of that uh yeah. i think during the winter time right yeah well that and i think i think they just survive off of a lot of fermented foods in general you know yeah. fermented foods canned foods you know pickle pickle items stuff like that you know um i'm not you know i i saw something where they they you know i mean they have fresh you know have fresh items i guess to deliver to them you know what i mean mm -hmm. stuff like, like like salad fixings and stuff like it, that it, it's incredibly expensive though because the only way to get it yeah. up there I, I to to a lot of those places is to fly it in right right yeah and it's the, but it's the same thing you know it's the, it's the same thing in hawaii i think like they have to get everything pretty much imported except mm -hmm. for like except for um What's interesting is I think a lot of people don't know this is that um, they have a large um, cattle industry there. Huge. In Hawaii. Yeah. So um, I think that's like the only thing they don't import is probably like meat products, you know, on 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 in a large scale. But I think as far as like like re like like regular stuff like milk and stuff like that yeah like stuff like that i don't know i'm yeah I've, I've heard that a lot of the islands they have to have a lot of their things imported from mm -hmm. from the mainland yeah oh and they probably have to import the the feed for for the cows and stuff too yeah They're, yeah you know to, to supplement for grass and stuff like that or to, right. to supplement the to supplement the grass whenever it's not growing yeah. as quickly or or, or something yeah yeah that and that's a uh, and they just hope that the volcanoes don't don't erupt right 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 yeah i mean i've I've a lot of people talk about like hawaii you know being this very beautiful place you know f with mm -hmm. with pair you know like paradise like it's paradise or the garden of eden or something like that which you know when you look at stuff when you when you see it you know it 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 does look like that i mean it looks you know it's it's a very beautiful place but i think what people don't realize is that like living on living on that island living on those islands is hard you know yeah and there's a lot of people that just have a very hard time uh maintaining on the, on the islands you know well it's um a, um out there a really common thing is pe people people that are native hawaiians mm -hmm. which um i don't know what percentage of the population they make up out there i think they're i know they're they're less i think they're less than 25 percent like yeah like less than 10 percent or something like that um yeah. I, I'm, I'm not i'm not entirely sure but they yeah. uh it's really common out there for for native hawaiian families for for them all to live together in the same home mm -hmm. like like aunts and uncles and nephews and nieces and moms and dads and and mm -hmm. grandmas and granddads and great grandparents and everything mm -hmm. and they and like they're and in some of those homes, it's like standing room only. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah. and and most of them don't even own most of them don't even own homes right. because because way way back in the day when um when Sanford Dole and and, and mm -hmm. a lot of those people, the the children of the missionaries um mm -hmm. that, that ended up staging the coup to overthrow the uh the the queen of Hawaii, mm -hmm. um they they cooked up this BS uh um law to to basically usurp all the property rights into their hands okay mm -hmm. and so 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 you had all this land that had generationally been owned by by, by native hawaiians and it all got stolen overnight mm -hmm. by, by by this class of uh people uh yeah sanford dole and and i i can't remember um some of the other guys i think one of the guys last name i think one guy's last name was bishop and and a few other ones were these Americans or are are they British? Americans? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, no, okay. no. No, these were not Brits. Actually, the 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 Brits had a pretty um pretty uh um intimate relationship with the with the Hawaiian royal family. Okay. Yeah. Is that why? Is that why uh, Hawaii's flag has the Union Jack on it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. In in fact, it is. And and all. And you got to remember too that uh the the godmother of of a lot of the the hawaiian um a uh, uh, royal children was queen victoria oh okay you know like i mean and I and, and yeah and, and I, I the only reason i know all this is, is i've been to hawaii twice oh, okay. and um and when you go and tour and and when when you go and tour a lot of the 
the the old old Hawaiian royal houses and things, you'll see a lot of items there. Um, and there will be a little placard or a little um a little sign explaining the history of it. And mm -hmm. a lot of the items are 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 were a lot of the items were gifts from the British royal family to the Hawaiian royal family. Wow. Okay. You know, like these very, very elaborate carved wooden beds, you know, yeah. you know, okay. and, and all these different things and yeah. different statues and stuff. And and a lot of the time Queen Victoria, I think, liked to to send statues of herself to people. You know, <laughs> of it. You know, that probably it says a lot about that says a lot about her, you know. <laughs> you know, but but you uh, you end up seeing a lot of statues of Queen Victoria, you know, in, yeah. in a lot of these old royal Hawaiian homes and everything. And uh, yeah. yeah. And and what ended up happening was, uh, you know, the the people that ended up founding um, the, basically the the Hawaiian sugar and, and pineapple barons mm -hmm. ended up overthrowing the the uh, um, uh, Hawaiian Native. monarchy. Mm -hmm. And and, yeah. and 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 in so doing, wiped out the entire um, uh, tradition that, that that governed the islands and supplanted right. that with with this weird n nouveau American type of system. And and then they eventually got absorbed into the um, United States. I I, I don't e mm -hmm. I don't even think the Republic of Hawaii was was independent for six months before yeah. they got absorbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a it's you know. The thing, the thing about like, okay, so let's let's roll this back. Okay, now I talking. personally think they ought to restore the Hawaiian monarchy, but, th okay, but okay, that's okay. that's just me. <laughs> okay, okay, but now who who would be who, who since since we're getting into this, since we're getting into this, I want I want I want people to understand this. You know, see, Hawaii is is an, is 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 part of the Polynesian like. Uh, you know, what do you call it? The Polynesian Archipelago, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. There, there. Hawaii is a is an island, and then there's there's other islands out there in the Pacific. You know that yep. it's like there's Tahiti, there's Samoa, there's I think what is it, American Samoa? There's Tonga, yep. there's, there's Guam, right? And then uh, there's 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 New Zealand. Bikini right. Atoll, so, the Marshall Islands. Right, right. So now like, a lot of people don't know that like all these groups, they're actually, they have a shared, the, the people that ended up being on those islands have a shared history, right? If you've ever seen the movie, you know, Moana, right? Which is a very, a very, very, um, sorry, I'm already awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no problem. Uh, if you... If you ever seen the movie Moana, and Shane, we we know you we know you're a fan of Disney, you know maybe maybe not Moana, but yeah. So I, I've so I've I've only seen bits and pieces of Moana, and I really didn't like what I saw. Uh, or okay. I I, I, re I wasn't really drawn into it. Okay, okay, yeah. Now now there there is a you know so anyways, you know they they so the the Polynesians are actually linguistically and historically have a relationship with the people who live in Southeast Asia. And I'll, I'll give you a particular, these are particular groups. It's the, it's the, it's the, um, like the, the, like Philippine, the Philippines. Mm -hmm. So people that live in the Philippines, you know, people who live in Indo, like the Indonesians, uh, the people who live in, um, Malaysia, uh, and the original inhabitants of uh, Taiwan are all. Oh, yeah, they're all considered to be Austronesians. I believe that's what it's called. They're Austronesians. So their ancestors moved from Taiwan down into the down into the islands of of the Southeast Asia, like to, to the Philippines and to mm -hmm. Indonesia, and you know stuff like that. And then they migrated. Uh, they migrated eastward into the into the Pacific Ocean and started to take over those islands. You know? Mm. So they all share a they all share a linguistic uh, heritage. Here's another thing I learned about. You talked about the families, right? Kind of living in one house and stuff like that. Uh 
one of the common characters, so I'm talking architecturally, one of the common characteristics of their, of that groups, like the Austronesians architecture is that all the houses were, they're raised above ground and they have like an underneath huh. area. You understand what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. there's a, there's a, yeah, it, it, it like sits on top of like, I guess, you know, these beams or whatever. And then there's like a, a sort of threshing floor underneath or something or something like that, a storage floor, maybe something like that. But yeah, they all, they all, they all pretty much share very similar um, heritage. Now that, you know, I don't know how far that goes. That's probably like thousands of years ago, you know, when, when they, when they had, when, when the people living in like say Indonesia and, you know, uh, Philippines and stuff had some type of relationship with the people living in say like Tahiti Hawaii and New Zealand, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. how far back, but the question, the interesting question would be who has retained the culture more, who has retained sort of the memory of mm -hmm. the ancient past more? Would it be the Polynesian or Melanesian too? Cause you know, you think about Fiji, that's another, you know, place. So are, have they maintained more of the culture because you know you got the the Maori in in New Zealand, you know you got the you got the, you know you got the and they do the haka dance, you know what yep. I'm saying, and all that stuff, right? And um, so you you know you you know that's that's just me nerding out, bro. This is just me nerding out. So, so I, don't, I don't got me too. I don't, went off, I don't went off in the right field, but but I I I you know I I agree with you in, in terms of talking about okay, restoring the monarchy, right? But here's the question. Who would, who would, who's to say who's the legitimate heir to the throne? You understand well, what I'm saying? I think there are organizations that that, that, that have tracked the line of succession. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think there is a clearly, a, a, I think there's a, um, a widely accepted uh, um, clear heir to the Hawaiian throne. Mm-hmm. Be, be, because because what ended up happening was it, it ended up becoming a big uh a, a big legal matter where mm -hmm. where the deposed queen ended up um suing the uh, uh, su suing these families that overthrew her within uh the new legal framework yeah you know mm -hmm. the new American legal framework there mm -hmm. and she she was able to get a massive um tract of land. Mm -hmm. uh back like like repatriated back under her ownership under her um ownership you know mm -hmm. privately mm -hmm. and and what she did was she she turned her resources over into creating a massive like trust and endowment okay. that 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 is, that is still used to this day that um that that makes its money off of leasing land and stuff okay. um that that still to this day um that operates uh, a vast network of of hospitals and of schools and of like a uh, kind of like a welfare program that's designed to to offer assistance to to native Hawaiians in Hawaii. OK, OK. Now, no, you said you didn't you didn't know the percentage of um, like native Hawaiians. Right. Like so I guess I guess my question would be. Are there any people in on the Hawaiian islands that are actually fully hawaiian you know I, I think isn't the majority of population living on hawaii like from other mm -hmm. places like like mainly from like japan yes Philippines. so so the so the largest ethnic group um so the largest ethnic group in in hawaii are are, ja are of japanese origin right um the now japanese um, americans I, right yeah 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 japanese americans Mm -hmm. Um, but I, so I just looked up on Google and I'm not mm -hmm. sure. So it's somewhere between 6% and 21% are, are native Hawaiians. Wow. So Wait, you said 6% to 20%. Yeah. Yeah. Somewhere wow. between 6% and 20 and 21%. And, and okay. I, I guess the reason that there's a discrepancy is, is it's a question of, of, what um, mean? of what percentage of 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 uh of native hawaiian ancestry must you be in order to qualify to be considered a native hawaiian 
Uh, so okay. so okay. I so I'm guessing based upon the stricter definition, it's yeah. about six percent, and then okay. and then b- based upon a more um a a a a, a wider uh, definition, a looser definition, it would be about twenty one percent. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's a very that's a very interesting that's a very interesting thing because you you know uh, uh I was talk I was thinking about um the 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 uh. What is it? He's the national saint of Hawaii, Saint Damien. Oh you know? yeah, the 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 one that operated the leper colony. Out yeah, there? He, no, yes. yeah, yeah. And I was and I was thinking to myself now that did did didn't that like create sort of a, a, a um um did didn't that contribute to the um sort of you know, I don't want to say genocide because you know that's a that's a very loaded term, and you want to try to, you know what I mean. Uh, so, did that did that um, help to to reduce the the native population, the the leper the leprosy? Or was no, uh, it, no. Okay, yeah, because I'm so, thinking like maybe they put them, maybe they ostracize them and they put them in that place like as outcasts. So they yes, so yeah. so th- that was actually put on a small island, I, I think called Mo- called Molokai. Okay, and yeah. um, and that that was somehow a deal worked out with with the native Hawaiians, mm-hmm. um, because I think there was a lot of leprosy among mm-hmm. among the native Hawaiians, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. And, and you know, and a lot of them were getting wiped out by disease and everything, and right. that's actually what Saint Damien died of was leprosy. Right. Right. You know? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A- actually uh there are a lot of Catholics in Hawaii and there are also mm-hmm. a lot of Mormons. Lot lots okay. there are lots of Mormons out there. <laughs> okay. And, yeah, and, wonder, and, and you know, why why do you think those two groups are the, the largest? I mean, I have my 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 um uh, my uh assumption about that, but you know, why why would you why do you think that why do you think Catholics make up such a large percent of the population as far as religiously, you know? Yeah. Well, so I, I sort of think that, that Mormons and Catholics have a very similar way of, of evangelizing, mm-hmm. you know, that, that, uh, and, and I think a lot of that has to do with, with the hierarchy of their churches okay. that, that allow them because because like so Catholics and Mormons both who uh, who who both get a bad rap obviously uh, you know I I respect Mormons I think they're wrong I think they're heretics they probably, and I know they would say the same thing about us but yeah. um but the thing is they they have a, a a um a church hierarchy that that is able to clearly promulgate things and that, that's able to clearly say these things we're going to incorporate these these uh these further developments in our understanding of doctrine in this mm-hmm. way okay. but but in but when when you're dealing with with our protestant brothers and sisters and and but and both of us lo- lo- love them very very dearly yes we do <laughs> they they don't have a um at least most of them don't have a a way of formally incorporating new developments into their doctrine okay. because be, because yeah. of, of the way sola scriptura is mm-hmm. they just say if it ain't in the bible it ain't real you right. know or or if it ain't in the bible i'm not i'm not gonna do it you know uh okay. i'm trying to think of, of what the saying is it's a uh, um the the bible says it i believe it and that settles it that you know okay. that's yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. and, and the thing is, yeah. sure. Hey, yeah, you you over here, you done kicked up that accent. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, well, well, you, well, you, can, and, you, know, you can you can do that. Kamala Harris can't. Okay. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> well, 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 and, and and you know, so so the thing is, be because because they don't have a way of incorporating, uh, they uh, they don't have a formal way of of incorporating new developments. And they don't have a formal way of being able to go in to to go to a new culture they encounter and say, okay, this is good, this is bad, mm-hmm. you know, you know, this can stay, 
the the like uh the ripping out the beating heart of of human sacrifices nope we're not doing that anymore you know but you know but the thing is okay you guys all already have an a and you guys already have an understanding of of what the family is yeah and you guys already have you guys already have an understanding you guys already have a culture and in fact there is something we could probably learn from you Right, um, right. Yeah. but, but the thing is, uh, they have that formal me- that formal means of, of incorporating, uh, th- things that are different, yeah. but, yeah. but a lot of Protestants don't. So, so what ends up happening is, is when, when a lot of Protestants come into an area, mm-hmm. you know, they're, they, they have a tendency to be pretty, pretty, um, pretty heavy handed with trying to make everybody, um, what to, to, making everyone adopt whatever whatever linguistic and ethnic tradition they're they're a part of mm-hmm. and i don't even think i don't even think they're aware of, of what they're doing that's one of the reasons that the english had the attitude toward the native americans that they had that mm-hmm. you know is is the english were like the only way we can incorporate native americans into our culture is is if they start speaking english and and mm-hmm. they, and they and they they dress like little miniature english aristocrats you know and and they're yeah. And and they and they get really into like watching horses run or or whatever you know like, you know you know and and the thing is, that's that's not a a sustainable way to incorporate new, new to to incorporate different things into your culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I wonder, I wonder what. I guess so. So so it's it's be, so you're saying, Catholic because catholicism and because you said mormons yeah right? yeah yeah mormons and, and because mormons have been able to and i'm not a mormon expert for uh, for the <laughs> record like like if people start commenting on this video and stuff I, i'm i'm not i'm not an expert on uh, on the church of latter day saints okay. i'm 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 not that there 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 uh, there's a massive gap in knowledge as far as as far as you that know, stuff I, goes i think it's okay shane i think i think they would be happy at the fact that somebody's even talking about them in a in a in a in a in a, in a positive in a somewhat positive light, you know what I mean? <laughs> not making not making fun not making fun of them, you know what I mean? So, but you're saying that because they have been able to, I guess, find the good in 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 certain cultures and be able to assimilate that, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, that they've been able to have more, have more of a, uh, have more progress, I guess, in, in places like Hawaii and, and probably even some of these other, some of these other islands. I think, I think, um, I think another one is like Guam and like Guam and Tonga and stuff like that. They they're, they yeah. have a lot of, there's a lot of, um, I think there's a lot of Mormons there too, uh, mm-hmm. if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, um Tahiti you know it's another one like it's like half Baptist and half half Catholic you know what I mean so so it's it yeah it's very interesting in that way that um there's more perhaps there's more room to to allow people to maintain their their historical identity and still you know <clears throat> still um have a change of like have a conversion moment you know what i mean and, and be in within the church but the thing the thing the thing okay the thing that is interesting to me though is did did the did the hawaiian monarchy become christian because mm-hmm. i remember yeah. telling you you know king kamehameha refused to become a christian and you want to know why it why? says it says that because because he didn't want to give up his multiple wives and he liked drinking rum too much. So well, he would <laughs> he wasn't he wouldn't become a Christian because of that. And he, that's, that's a, somebody said that's a good reason not to become Christian. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's you know. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I'm I'm not really sure when it when it was that that the monarchy converted to Christianity. I think, I think it was like maybe the next generation after Kamehameha or, 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 or okay. maybe, maybe his grandkids generation that, that, that converted to Christianity, but mm-hmm. they, they did end up converting. Um, mm-hmm. 
and and the entire country actually became um pretty pretty solidly christian okay and was the were they pretty were quickly they, was it um was were they predominantly like protestant like reformed or something I, I i you know that i'm not sure of mm -hmm. I, I i i i would imagine a lot of them i would imagine it probably was majority protestant i mm -hmm. i'd i guess um yeah. Which I think I think Catholics had been in Hawaii for a while because the Portuguese brought. I think they were the first ones to bring Catholicism to Hawaii. Really, I didn't yeah. even know that. I didn't even know the Portuguese had had been in Hawaii. But is that where is that where the cattle? Is that where the uh, the ranching and the oh cattle? probably okay yeah because that's that's you know I was saying like people don't know that like Hawaii Hawaii was actually one of the first cattle uh raising states like in in the whole of the united states like i well, think even prior to um i'm not sure about this but i think even prior to like ranching in like texas and stuff well and 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 you know you know that language pigeon and mm -hmm. and the, and there are people pe pe people that call themselves pigeon you know, mm -hmm. um, and and actually, a a, a large swath. Of mo most people that are that are pigeon are actually of, um, of of Portuguese ancestry. Oh, um, okay. and, and now okay. that 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 doesn't necessarily mean that that that's the majority that that makes up the uh, the majority of of their of their ethnic background. But yeah, yeah. but uh, uh, Portuguese is a pretty universal um, portion of of those people's ethnic background. Wow. I didn't yeah. know that. Is that is that why you see last names like Alvarez and stuff like that that they they have? Because I've seen those names, you know, Alvarez, yes. Cast, Castro, Cardoso, you know, stuff like that. That's that's I, that's amazing. I did not ever think about that. <laughs> yeah, and and uh, the Russians, the Russians even had a settlement. Um, wow. uh, I I think it was, I think it was on on Oahu, the the main mm -hmm. island that Honolulu is on. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 It it, it 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 was either that island or Kauai that, that the Russians had a really big settlement. Wow. Okay. Which, which is now just yeah. rubble. It, it, there, there there's right. nothing left except for like the the foundations of it. But I think that I, I think there's an old um a a a, a small contingent of, of Orthodox Christians in in Hawaii too. But I I think they're a right. tiny tiny little faction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike, Mike makes right. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> no, no, but but okay. So so here's the thing, man. What makes you what makes you think? Why do you think Hawaii is such a almost like a coveted place to be? It's almost like the Jerusalem of the of the Pacific. You know what I mean? Like if you think about like the Atlantic and and, and you think about going eastward. Mm -hmm. You're, you know, you, you talk about like prime property, you know, uh, you know, land, you know, uh, uh, whatever. You, someone would say, okay, yeah, that's that's Jerusalem, it's the Holy Land. You know what I mean? Yep. Why do you think people covet this whole thing? Like, why is Hawaii such a such a such a coveted place to such a coveted place to want to take control of? Well. I think I think it's several things. Um, one is or the I I I would say the first thing is definitely location, location, location. Right, that um, the the location of Hawaii it happens to be in kind of the center of the Pacific. Okay. You know, so so if you're the country that controls that controls the Hawaiian Islands, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you're on the eastern side of the Pacific like the U.S. is. Mm -hmm. It kind of naturally expands your sphere of influence all the way out to the Hawaiian Islands. Okay. If the Japanese or the Chinese controlled the Hawaiian Islands, or 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 the Russians for that matter, that would have naturally expanded their sphere of influence eastward to the Hawaiian mm -hmm. Islands. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, so so and, basically, the islands are are the sort of marker for the extent of your empire or the extent of your yep, yeah. geopolitical your geopolitical power yes and, mm -hmm. and another aspect of it is there uh, there are a lot of islands out in the pacific like the marshall mm -hmm. islands and guam and midway and, and all these different places a lot of these places that 
that the Americans and Japanese fought over in World War II, you know, in the mm -hmm. island hopping campaigns. Mm -hmm. the, the downside of a lot of those islands, though, is that, that they're very, very low. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of them are, are what you would call atolls, which, which are islands that are basically sandy reefs, which, okay. is, which is primarily what, like, the Marshall Islands are. It's, it's pretty okay. much – it's just flat, sandy land that's kind of all at – just slightly above sea level. Mm -hmm. um the hawaiian islands have a lot of elevation to them okay um and most importantly um uh hawaii had has has deep water ports okay which okay. which you don't really have that in 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 a lot of the other islands in the pacific now um obviously you do have that in places like 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 taiwan and the philippines and places like that but yeah. typically speaking on on small islands mm -hmm. um or or well, Hawaii would technically be considered kind of like a large island, but but yeah. typically in archipelagos, you're not going to find deep water um, ports. You're you're okay. just typically not going to find that, and okay. um and it just so happens that places like Pearl Harbor and and Honolulu Harbor mm -hmm. are are deep water ports that are that are ideal locations for for you to have ships um come mm -hmm. into the port and leave the port. You know they mm -hmm. they can come come and stop uh, and refuel there. Yeah, uh, you know, if you're dealing with a with a large vessel mm -hmm. that 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 goes deep below the water, mm -hmm. you know that ship would not be able to to pull up on shore to 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 an island to to an island that has a lot of beaches, right? right? And the right, reason right. is that that it, that if the ship were to try to pull up there, yeah. that the ship would end up getting trapped in the sand, and it and and good luck getting it out of there, right? You know, right, that's right, one right. of the reasons that. That oftentimes in movies and stuff, you'll see ships will will dock far, far out into the deep water, right. and then and then people will board the boat and they'll take the they'll take the smaller boat um onto the right. island. Right, right, you know, right. Like I'm like when whenever you see the conquistadors arrive and they they get and they get off the the, the big boat and then get on the canoes or whatever the yeah rafts and come up onto the sand. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and yeah, and you see the beauty of the Hawaiian Islands is, is that that the ships can come and dock there, and mm. they could refuel, resupply if they needed to have the the ships worked on. Like if if the ship needed a rudder replaced, or or, or if it had planks that needed to be replaced or something, that could very mm. easily be done there. You know, oh, okay. and and so so um the the Hawaiian Islands provided, you know, it, um if if you go and look at a lot of at at, at a lot of uh kind of like tactical and strategic thinkers during the um during the 1800s mm -hmm. universally pretty much universally everyone looking at the hawaiian islands from the russians to the japanese to the brits to the americans to mm -hmm. you know to, to pretty much any any seafaring people that had a a presence in the pacific they they all understood that that controlling hawaii was the key to controlling the pacific right that 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 whoever controlled Hawaii would end up controlling the Pacific. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I mean, which 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 I mean, it makes it makes a lot of sense. Which I guess, was an unfortunate fact for for the Hawaiians, you know. Right, right. And 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 the the the, I think the thing that that kind of like always, <clears throat> the thing I've noticed that gets highlighted a lot as far as when it comes to the native population versus other people and, and stuff is they they it's, there's um the same sort of conversation about sovereignty and 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 mm -hmm. and you know the original people you know and then you know who has access to the land and um you know this idea of like sacred burial sites you know and so there are a lot of those in in, in yeah. hawaii and they get trampled yeah. on by tourists right 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 you know? now and here's another thing i mean i think another controversial thing of course is the fact that hawaii is a very is a very ge geographically and ecologically it's a very serene looking place mm -hmm. you know what i mean like you want to go you, you know and and it's been hyped up as this place where you know, it's just paradise on earth, you know? And so I think when you hear about very wealthy people having estates there, 
you know, and having places, these big ass mansions overlooking, you know, thousands of miles of just wa nothing but water and yeah. or mountains and stuff, you know, I could understand how that would create a certain level of envy, you know, and anger, especially if you're someone who's been living on that island, your ancestors have been living on that island for, you know, however long, and you're, you know, having to live a very difficult and hard life and, you know, whatever, and people just fly in and basically get to stay at resorts all the time and get, you know, lays and stuff like that. And one thing I... I, I <clears throat> And they they turn your culture into a giant caricature. Yeah, yeah, they turn it into you know, a caricature that, that's for them to I'm repackage doing. and sell. Yeah, and the thing about it is they don't when they when they when you when you watch like the the stuff about hula and stuff like that. You know, it used to be very stereotypically like, you know, you get the mai tais and the tiki's and the and the and the and the plastic lays and the mm -hmm. straw hula, uh, you know thing skirt or whatever you get your hawaiian shirt you know and all this stuff but you know when i got a little older i i started to see like they actually that's not hula <laughs> right that what they're doing that that dancing and stuff it's like it's kind of like like a what yeah like a, like caricature the stereotype mm -hmm. the hula you know it's like an ancient form of communication, the way they would talk to each other and communicate, you know, is through their those hand movements and things like that, and their the chanting and stuff. But you know, it's because see, they they believed that everything would almost have like a life force to it. You know what I mean? Like everything that was on the island would was had some some sort of power or was 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 related was connected to the gods somehow right and so they're 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 chanting in the hula dance and stuff they they had different um chants and dances for for particular things right mm -hmm. so some of them was like about navigation and trying to show you how, you know what how their ancestors got there you know what what they did and you know the stars that they had to follow at night and the course of the wind during the day or whatever, you know, and then some of them would be about like, you know, great battles that chiefs fought, you know, uh, because, you know, that's, a, that's another thing that people don't know is that Hawaii, it, it's it a was bloody not, history. Yeah, they were not, it wasn't a unified island. There were, there were tons, there were tons of chiefs and kings and they were all literally like killing each other with, with, with flint stone, like, you know, and shark, shark teeth, wooden weapons, bro. Yeah. Just think about like how, how, how hard it is to try and, you know, hurt somebody with that. So you had to be very, you know, committed to, <laughs> to, to, fighting some, to fighting someone and taking them, you know, in, in liquidating them, you know what I mean? So, so uh, I guess what I'm saying is, is that the, the true, culture of the of the Polynesian people on that island has sort of been I don't know if, if this is a if this is a derogatory derogatory term or not it's sort of been whitewashed I'm just gonna say it. that's how yeah. that's what I think, you know it's been whitewashed and I'm not I'm not you know I'm not, well, well, I'm not, and, and 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 a lot of the by, by Madison Avenue um marketing firm or um advertising agencies post World War II like in the 1940s and in the late 40s and early 50s that's when the, that's when the airlines and stuff started really ramping up this whole idea that 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 Hawaii is paradise on earth and that's where mm -hmm. you want to go for your honeymoon that's where you want to go and celebrate okay. any special occasions and you want to go stay at the Hilton and all this okay. stuff like you know at, at, at you know at that time period they were they were creating a brand new culture for, yeah. for, for the West and a brand new culture in America. And part of that, what was using Hawaii as being, as being a, a permanent vacation feature, okay. you know? Mm -hmm. and so, so basically. So that they could sell you, yeah. so that they could sell you cruise tickets and they could sell you airline yeah. tickets. They could sell you hotel rooms. Right. They could sell you all kinds of things. Right. It, it, it's the perfect getaway from, mm -hmm. from all of, from all of the, 
all of the troubles of the mainland. Yep. You know, yeah, and, and yeah, and 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 they they try to and they they try to wrap you up in this 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 fake Hawaiian cultural blanket, and they try to say that well, well, you see, uh, Hawaiians have, have been doing this dance for thousands of years, and Hawaiians have been drinking the the uh, the the drink of the Hawaiians it, it, um, is the mai tai. You know really? the you know okay. the Hawaiians invented the mai tai. They've been drinking this for 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 thousands of years, and and uh, and and the Hawaiians and and the Hawaiians invented the Hilton. Yeah, you know, and, and all this stuff. You know, and, and it's like no, that you know, this is all a bunch of BS that that they're marketing you so that they can try to so that they can try to sell you something. They don't care what it is they're selling you. Yeah, they're you know they they just have this brand new thing mm -hmm. that that they that's this new category that they that they call Hawaii. Mm -hmm. that nobody cared about before yeah you, you know um well i mean or the masses didn't care about it before then yeah. they're telling the mass about it so that they can sell them crap yeah you know i mean right. that that's what it comes down to yeah and, and and it's 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 that like it's the paradise on earth it's um the romanticism uh it's the everybody who lives there is 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 uh you know is in scant clothing running mm -hmm. around you know, like they're in the Garden of Eden. They're they're hypersexed. You know, yep. they, and the, the just, women are just constantly hula dancing out there. That that's the only yeah. thing that they do. They, right. have, yeah, you know, they, they just do that and they make you mai tais. Like that's right. That's, right. You know, they'll be doing hula dance while they're making you a mai tai. <laughs> yeah, you know. And look, and look, and then you get there. I've heard tons of stories. People get there and they'll be like, "This is not what I. <laughs> this is not what I thought I was coming to." You know what I'm saying? Because they're. You know, the, the, I mean, again, the native population is not, and I'm not just speaking of native people. I'm talking about black people that are born there. They're not rich. They don't. They no. don't. They don't. You know, they're not living like luxurious lives. Bro. They're they're actually living in poverty. Yeah, you know? they're broke. Like, and and yeah. and the, and none of them can afford to own anything. You know, right. they're they're yeah. they're, uh, they're all totally broke. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. And. You know, back back to the 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 fact that their tradition is passed down. A lot of it is passed down through dance and through song and through all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. I think that when that when you go there, and the way you understand your culture is being passed down to you is through is only through a book. Mm -hmm. You know, I think when you look at that, you look at that as being as being like savage and primitive and stuff, and and you want to supplant that with your book. Mm -hmm. You know, but you know, and 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 that's what that the, the, that's where where I'm I'm rehashing Soul Scriptura again. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but the thing is, when when you're dealing with people, when when you're dealing with Christians that that obviously have have a high regard for the Bible, like the Bible was was uh put together by Saint Jerome, you know, mm -hmm. a, a Catholic mm -hmm. Church father, you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, you know. You know, Catholics, and I'm guessing Mormons, mm -hmm. um, who ob obviously I've got my issues with them, but <laughs> um, but Catholics and Mormons and Orthodox and 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 Apostolic Christians, mm -hmm. um, which I I don't I don't count Mormons as being Apostolic Christians. I, I say that in love, you know. But in but love. the uh, you know, but um, they understand their tradition is coming down to them with with the bible possibly being the most the most beautiful fruit of the christian tradition mm -hmm. but the the, Christ, the christian tradition is not limited to just a book mm -hmm. you know the christian tradition comes down to us through through word of mouth and it comes down right. to us through 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 our prayers and through through right. through our liturgy and through all all of our different things it comes down to us through all these different things so when you look at at another people yeah. who who have passed their tradition down in a similar way through through these through these multi-sensory um uh types of uh entertainment occasion. Or, yeah. what i was gonna say through other types of entertainment or other types of uh display of yes of, uh, emotion yeah, they're 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 transmitting culture in ways that are beyond just just a book you know right Right, right, and and I'm not calling the Bible just a book, but yeah, yeah, but but yeah. the thing is, the Bible is possibly the is possibly the 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 greatest fruit of of our tradition, you know. Right, um, right. But yeah. 
mm-hmm. when when that's the background that you come from, you look at the Hawaiians and you say, oh, okay, I, I can understand this. Let's let's mm-hmm. see what they're actually saying. Let's mm-hmm. see what their tradition's actually saying. Let, let's actually get into it and, and right. see see right. what things there are there are some good things here. So let's start yeah. with the good things and let's yeah. let's suppress the bad things. Right. You know, but right. Yeah. When you come to it and 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 you and 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 you and you you reject any tradition outside of your your holy book, mm-hmm. then then I think I think that ends up leading to to you have an inclination to want to suppress anything that is not that uh, you want to suppress anything that is outside of that holy book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I get it. yeah because because it it's which is which is more of a I mean that's definitely more of a Western, Western concept, and and I I think it's yeah. a, even more a, a a Protestant one because that's you know sort of how they you know are able to under you know just understand their what they believe about the Gospels and what they believe about Christianity is that you know like you said if it if it ain't if it's not in there or something like that then. Uh, no, Jesus, what does it say? Jesus said it. I believe it, and that's it, or something like that. Yeah, God, it's not. God, God said it. I believe it. That settles it. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, yeah. That's that's the. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, the other thing though is is you know we 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 sh- see because I I I when it, when it comes to these things about the, the whole history of colonialism and everything, I think it's also fair to say that. Western civilization being coming to these places did change the way in which they behave behaved with one another, you know, mm-hmm. especially in forms of violence. And there's two cultures that I think in the Western hemisphere that were that were very that were extremely violent. Okay. That's the, the Polynesian culture and the and the Mesoamerican and native and native american cultures okay yeah. people people try to whitewash that too you know yeah, to try to make it they try to seem, call them the the noble savage yeah right? like you know like they were just the you know like they were just so you know astute and stoic and 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 didn't you know and didn't and, and, and they weren't they weren't sacrificing humans and yeah. tossing, them, tossing them down the damn you know pyramid you know, thousands in one in one week. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that that's. I mean, people can't. You can't conceive of that. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's it's. But the reason why we can't conceive of that is because of the is because of Christianity, right? Mm-hmm. Now, we, now, now, now. You know, and and I know a lot of people might think that that's. It's like, well, our ancestors. You know, that that was sacred to them. So. You know, there were and there were certain laws and things that you just didn't do, and if you did, then your punishment was basically death. You know what I mean, or something like that. I was listening to this documentary, and one of the ladies on there, they were talking about this. I was telling you about the sacred burial sites in Hawaii and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's places where, like, for the Hawaiian people, when you would bury someone, you know, they they had different different burial practices depending on you know your family depending on their your family status and stuff like that and see this is another thing about those cultures is that they were also very hierarchical okay extremely hierarchical you know and you know you 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 had to basically stay in your in your station you know what i mean and and you weren't allowed to sort of maneuver around that you know what i mean uh but i'm just saying that to say um, I think that we have to give credit where credit's due in terms of where the West, where the Western world was able to have a positive impact on these cultures. And one of those things is it, oh, it yeah. stopped. It's yeah, it stopped their their genocide, their somewhat genocidal behaviors. Because I mean, they they would potentially wipe out whole other groups you know more than likely who were probably their kinsmen who were probably related related to them in the past like 
some 200 or 500 years ago, but now they became like they're now enemies. You know what I'm saying? They, yep. they, they speak them the as same the other. language. Yeah, it's like they speak the same language, but it's a two different dialects of the same language. So now because we speak two different dialects, the same language, <laughs> you're my enemy. You know yeah. what I mean? okay. Or <laughs> your, your family stopped believing in the God whoever and so because of that you know you're a blasphemer so just just walk just wipe them out you know so that's what i'm saying I, I i do think that it goes both ways you know what i mean because okay you talk about saint damien and the the, the island of molokai okay who else was there to be with those people in lepers with their leprosy I think I think it's fair to say that most of the Hawaiian natives probably saw them as outcasts and told them go to that island and and don't, I don't, probably. don't want you here. You know what I'm saying? We don't want you here because you're about to spread that disease. So you need to go to the, the island of Molokai <laughs> and you just suffer over there and die. You know what I mean? It took it took the charitable the charitable um, action of Christianity to to have that sort of conviction that hey we actually need to care for the victim not ostracize them and make them outcasts that's why i think saint damien became the 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 national saint of hawaii because they were able to see that there's something about christianity that's vastly different from mm. what our ancestors would have done to us you know yeah um, and, but again, and I'm not saying I'm not saying that to say anything that you know that that they that 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 the Hawaiian people don't have a right to their to their land. I believe that I believe that just as much as I believe the native the native um, the Native Americans. I guess you can still say that, right? Mm -hmm. The Native Americans um, have a right to their land. You know what I mean? Um, I I I'm I am all for. I am all for seeing the restoration of the Hawaiian monarchy. If nothing else, just for the ceremony, that would be one of the coolest. <laughs> that would be one of the coolest coronations on the planet, bro. You know what I mean? Well, well, well and, and you know that uh, that that would be particularly incredible because because the the question would then arise where where people would ask, okay, so. The Hawaiian monarchy is being reestablished. Mm -hmm. Now, do they remain a part of the of the United States, or or mm -hmm. do they or do they go their own way? Right. Yeah. You know, and yeah. and I would imagine that that them going their own way would not be an option. So so I think what that would do is, is it could open the door for for our country to have a conversation more along the lines of, okay, well, the federal government needs to relinquish control back to the states again. Mm -hmm. You know, to, to, okay, to where to, to where the states can 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 kind of can kind of go their own way within the 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 overall frame federal framework of, of the of the United States. Right. You know, right. and that yeah. that that could be a, that could be a really good thing. Yes. Yeah, so you know, with that, so would, would that, that could, that could help to alleviate a lot of the steam uh -huh. that's building up in the country right now where where you have. You know, I'm 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 going to drop the the a word abortion. Uh, you, you know, yeah. you know, and and you also have a lot of you know you have all all the all the woke stuff about like you know about book bans and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And and without without getting into the intricacies of any of those things, mm -hmm. it would lay the groundwork for one state to pursue one path and for another state to pursue a, a different path, mm -hmm. and and for for all of us to remain and for all of us to remain within the same union. You know, yeah. then, then the only question would be, well, what right does the re does the uh, resident of one state have to go into the other state to partake in this in this thing that is illegal in in the state that that they traveled out of that they're going to return back to? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but that's a but but what, what, but what that would do is is it would alleviate some of the steam that has built up in the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To yeah, to where if 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 people in California want want to live a certain way, yeah. Um they they can do that, but but they don't have to impose their way of life on people that live in Oklahoma for instance. Right. Right. Yeah. You, you know you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, yeah, it's it's I mean it's it's 
it's much more like a like a federation, you know, right. of, of states. Then they have different. They just have different. I mean, which is which is which is. I mean, we already kind of have that in a way. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you think about Seattle, like everybody's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody's, like everybody's everybody smoking weed and they're crazy. They're you know they're 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 for they're for anything goes kind of attitude you know what i mean like you could be you can be whoever you want you can be with whoever you want you can you know if you feel like you're a, a a chow chow today and an alligator tomorrow like that's totally fine just be you you know what i mean and 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 then you know and then we can go climb some mountains during the summer you know what i'm saying maybe that'll refresh your memory that you're you're still a human <laughs> well and and you know you know speaking of seattle I, th this may have happened a year ago. It may have happened two years ago, mm. but um, yeah, yeah. It, it, it must've, maybe it was about two years ago. Any, anyway, mm. it, it, it was uh, <clears throat> some, something at the Microsoft headquarters in, in, in Seattle mm -hmm. and they were on a zoom call or something. Yeah. So this must've been about two years ago because th this would have still been right in the heart of COVID. Mm -hmm. And um, dur during the zoom call, they, they did this beginning thing where where they were um like do, doing the chants of the native american tribes mm -hmm. who used to live where where the current microsoft headquarters is mm -hmm. and and they were apologizing for mm -hmm. for having stolen land and everything mm -hmm. <laughs> and and there were a lot of a lot of people that there were a lot of people on twitter that were laughing about it because because uh the the people on twitter were uh, were all rightfully pointing out saying that that they talk about how how sorry they are that that, that they're occupying stolen land or or, or whatever, but there ain't mm. no way in hell that they're going to be handing that land back to, <laughs> yeah, to the people yeah. that it was original <laughs> that, that it was originally stolen from. Yeah, you, yeah. you know, and, and yeah. the thing is, like that, you know, it, it, it's just you have so many people now because we we don't really have a culture mm -hmm. anymore. People are all mm. just doing performative stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's, it's, you know, yeah. they're doing these. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if, if you know, like the they, they call them like woke struggle sessions and stuff okay. where where, where <laughs> like um they'll like like a company will 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 hire someone to come in and do a workshop mm -hmm. to to get people to um to come to grips with the fact that 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 they are that that they are exploiting exploiting other people like they want for for men to realize that, that they're victimizing women and they want for women to realize that they're being victimized by men and 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 they, and what what they're doing is they're doing like maoist style struggle sessions and corporate america is eating this stuff up and and i think a lot of it is because people there there is not a a tradition that tells people this is what you ought to do this is how yeah. you ought to act yeah. so so you have all these people that are all mixed up and and the thing is <laughs> and 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 i think what a lot of them are doing is they're they're saying well i have all this confusion and guilt inside of me and i don't know what to do with it but mm -hmm. at least at least when i'm doing this performative thing publicly it makes me feel a little bit better about myself yeah yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah. That's that's a very like like a uh, um a, about three months ago, I saw a video on Twitter of of the of these uh of, of it was like a corporate retreat, and mm -hmm. these these middle aged women were, were were paying to go out to like a campsite, and mm -hmm. and they they were at this grove out in the middle of the woods, and they would just go and scream. Do, do, I, do you remember? I think I sent that sent, to you. Do you remember you sent that? Me that? You sent me yeah. that, and I was looking at that like, what the shit. <laughs> yeah, and and they and 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 dude, and these women spent thousands of dollars a piece to go out and do that, and 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 it, it, it's 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 this guy that's like it's this like probably like like thirty five year old white guy with like dreads and stuff, and and, he, yeah. and he's telling them you know you need to become one with nature and and just scream it out and stuff, and these women they're like crying, they're like they're going like. <laughs> But didn't they get the men to end up doing that too? Yes, so like so so men went out there and were doing the same shit. Yeah, a, a a few weeks later, um, yeah. they they did it. They did a thing with the uh, men. 
So crazy, dude. And, and but but yeah, it's it's just like you said, it's all performative because they want you to kind of, they want you to kind of, um, like, either feel guilty to the point to where you start dressing like this native person. You know what I mean? Like like I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna put a feather in my hair, or you know, I'm gonna start acting like a. I look at that and and I think obviously we're dealing with mental illness here. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, it, it's it's clear. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, I, I think the problem is that the only way that there's going to be expiation for for that guilt that those people are feeling is is through confession. Right. You know, and, right. and, and, I, and I and I I don't I don't mean to I don't mean to offend our our Mormon friends and our <laughs> and, and our and our Protestant, you know, brothers and sisters. Yeah. And but, yeah, don't you know, I mean, don't start don't start that war in Hawaii. <laughs> no, no, no. To go. <laughs> <There's> no <laughs> <way to go. laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but 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 you, you know that's the thing is is ultimately I, I think when you get down to the core of it um confession is the only thing that's going to put you on the path to be to be completely um uh not 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 cleansed of those feelings but Confession is the only thing that's going to give you any kind of closure or absolution on those things. Yeah, where, where you and, can and move on. Yeah, and and reconciliation, which is yes. I think yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, yeah, yeah, and and you know the thing that's so fascinating to me to, that's so fascinating to me is that you you think about it and what 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 was the reason that uh that that, that all these cultures were were like were, were putting people to death and like. And like practicing, uh, uh, practicing like religious styles of cannibalism and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. They were all doing it so that so that they could try to cleanse themselves of these feelings of guilt and anxiety mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and and this this sense that that they weren't that they weren't living up to the the calling that that they were mm -hmm. supposed to live up to and everything mm -hmm. and, and all these things. Yeah. And you know now now in this like in this post-Christian civilization that we're living in now, mm -hmm. you know, pe people will go to therapy to try and get, to try and get absolution. Now, now I, now I personally think that, that the therapy is good for people in the sense that it can provide people with the ability to, to get kind of a bird's eye view of where they are in life Mm -hmm. and and where they can get actual practical advice on okay so so you're doing this maybe you ought to mm -hmm. start doing this you know like right. you 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 get a professional third party involved that can kind of mm -hmm. tell you well so so this is where you are and this is probably where uh, where you ought to start moving to uh, you know right. like that's mm -hmm. that that's the role of therapy the role of therapy is not to provide somebody with absolution and unfortunately i think i think we're living in a time where a lot of people are trying to pursue absolution through therapy Mm -hmm. you know yeah, yeah and 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 because and because we're living we're living in a post-christian civilization now yeah. that's the direction they're going to try to expiate themselves of all their guilt and bad feelings and everything yeah. prior to the gospel yeah. you know pe pe people would go and like murder a dog or or or, or murder or, or murder another person you know through yeah. through some kind of sacrificial right 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 and i and i and i and well the other thing though man is i think the the whole, the whole like mental health industry or whatever is it actually, instead of helping to reconcile and like heal, it actually just exacerbates, like it keeps it going because it, it, it mm -hmm. affirms people's, um, it's, it's, you know, I don't mean to say this in a, you know, way, but it, sometimes I think it affirms people's, um, it affirms their the problems that they're having mentally. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, if you if you want to look, if you want to, if you want to be a, you know, if you want to look like a woman, that's okay. You know, like it's mm -hmm. it's okay to be that, right? Like, there's nothing wrong with that, right? It's other people who have who have who are who can accept. Yeah, who you really are, you know, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And and it, it's not even it's not even like with the clothing. It's like, oh no, it's okay for you to think that if you you know, girl, if you need to have your freedom mm -hmm. and your your whatever, then you just got to get that because that's what's 
that's what's true for you right now. And you need to, you deserve your freedom and you need to go out and take it. Cause, yeah, cause if you don't yeah. go out and take your freedom, no one's going to give it to you, girl. You, you know, and <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, brother, I, you know, but uh, you know, that we don't, we don't move, we don't, we, we, we moving away. We moving away from paradise. I want to go back. To <laughs> 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 I want to go back to paradise. You know what I'm saying? Just, just like all the other rich people, <laughs> the rich people do. Let's, let's go back to Hawaii, bro. You know what yeah. Man? No, no. But yeah, man. Okay, okay. We're gonna have to. We got to pick this up again because I'm, I'm really interested in this idea of like states and, and, and things like that, and uh, you know, sort of the, the amount, I guess, of, of sovereignty that, it, that these various states are supposed to have. I know Hawaii, you know, Hawaii is, is very unique. And I, and I think, and I think it's probably the same, you could probably say the same thing about like, I don't know, somewhere like Alaska, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's, mm -hmm. they're so far away from like the, you know, the mainland, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, yeah, I mean, they, they really have a culture of their own. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not intertwined with anybody else, you know, or any, or anything else. So it it is, but it, it would it, it that's a very interesting point that you make, and I, and I I do, I mean yes, I I do think that ultimately the only way to handle a lot of these issues would be to to not have the federal government so so involved in the yeah. ma the, the the matters and affairs of you know a lot of these places, a lot of these states, you know, of course. You know, Hawaii is a, it's just like, you know, Washington State, Oregon, and California. They're, they're just, you just know they're going to be blue. It's not, it doesn't, every election, you know, those states are just, you might as well give up. <laughs> you might as well not even, you might as well not even try because they're, they're just going to be blue. You know what I mean? Well, you know, something to remember though is like, like a lot of those states that have become solidly blue, mm. a lot of that has been the result of 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 Californians fleeing fleeing the uh the disaster that, mm. that California has become over the past couple of decades. Okay. Fleeing from California to seek refuge in other places. Okay. And then they keep voting the same way that they voted when they were in California that made the that, that made the state so unbearable that they had to leave to begin with. Ah uh, you know okay. 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 And 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 see the question is though is is who are the people that are allowed to leave these places and go somewhere else and wreak havoc there and then keep on, you know, just causing chaos. And then they're allowed to go somewhere else and do the same thing. I mean, that, that they should be banned from voting, being able to vote in that state. I think wherever you were born, that's where you get to vote. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't I'd get be, I'd to be fine move. with that. <laughs> it's like you don't get to move to you don't get to move to you know you know if i'm from washington i don't get to move to idaho and then vote in idaho blue you know what i'm saying like mm -hmm. if you if you're from idaho you don't get to go to washington and vote red like i mean I'm, i mean you can vote what you want but, but i'm just saying like you vote based on your state like you were born in that yeah. state that's the state that you vote or, or 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 maybe there ought to be a, a waiting time like like you yeah. know after you've lived in in a state for like four years or five years or something then you're able to yeah to to vote in that state once you've kind of established yourself there and you've and you've got kind of a a vested interest in in the state you know yeah 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 all right brother well this was this was this was a a, a very uh you know a very uh interesting conversation we had you know very we, we, very we don't we don't went from king kamehameha to, <laughs> to, to, to to what was the other dude's name something doyle you said oh um oh S San sanford dole sanford dole we talked about queen victoria being the godmother to the well, well and and so 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 keep something in mind sanford dole so so you're uh, you're you're familiar with dole foods like the the Dole Pineapple Company, like Dole Pineapples in the cans at, at the store. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So yeah. that's that's the company that's owned by the family that over that that helped to overthrow the uh, the the the, uh, the the Hawaiian monarchy. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I guess that's the next thing to protest, huh? Dole foods. No, I'm just, I'm just yeah. <laughs> well, well, you know the thing is, you know, it's just funny that that the awoke people that that they will um uh ban ban all kinds of things, but they yeah. they won't ban, you know, uh, they, yeah. Sugary, well, well, sugary and, and, sweets and treats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and and also too, and for for the record, I, I'm I'm not saying that that you should just. Yeah. I'm I'm not in agreement with cancel culture. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. All right, man. Well, until next time, bro. We're gonna pick right. this up again. Hmm? Sounds good. Peace. All right, man. Peace.